Hey guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video I'll be going through the Collingwood vs Fremantle game, going through how my um, girls did, I guess, and how it was a relatively good game and we just got treated to the absolute Bauer effect of all Bauer effects um, with a huge second quarter of 57, the best second best quarter I've ever seen behind the whole quarter that we're going to witness um, tomorrow, um, where she went... 84, I think, which is the highest I've ever seen in the men's or women's. She whore just absolutely dominated. But anyway, talking about Bowers, she dominated in the second with a 57 to be on half time at, um, I believe it was 85 at half time. So yeah, she went nuts, ended up with a 137. But before we get into the video, remember to like and subscribe, turn the notification bell on so you know when I upload. And let's get into the video. So as you can see here, um, let's make this just a little bit bigger so you guys can see. I hope that helps a little bit. Um, Rao 105, um, 17, 4 and 9 at a goal, 95% time on ground. So interesting with her, but, um, I don't think it's too, um, crazy. Um, and what she priced at Rao, as you can see, I've, I've fiddled around with a lot of my trades, etc. And I'm just trying to find the right, um, solution. Rao 88, um, and 105 last week, 67, uh, 105 this week, 67 last week, and if we look at Rao, what's her, um, CBA is 3%, um, yeah, I don't know about that one, 7% CBA is overall, um, time and ground, 95 and 100, um, did she kick any goals or anything, what is, um, she's playing a wing role, so this could actually be interesting, um, her playing a wing role, um, in the forward line, um, priced at, what is Rao priced at here, um, 8, 11, so that will be interesting to look at now, um, she could be a good one to actually look at, um, if we go back to the, uh, main screen here, but yeah, so she ended up with a 105, a 16, one mark, uh, one handball, four, four marks, nine tackles, uh, Bonchi, or however you, Benici, um, thir 20 touches, uh, 3 marks, 11 tackles, 103, and Davey, 19 touches, 3 marks, 10 tackles for a 98, and then you have Sheridan here on an um, 88, if I actually, I could do this, and then it would just show all the um, top scorers and sort of line up with what I'm doing on the DFS, um, so Sheridan, another midfielder, Cincinnati, a defender, scoring 75, uh, what's Cincinnati's role? Because I'm really trying to look for those non-midfielders and see if they have a better role than anything. No, she's just playing half-back uh, both weeks and went 41-75, so I, I cannot trust that. Um, and then you have Campbell here on a 75 as well, I believe. If I just... Let's look at her role. Half-forward role, you cannot trust that as well, given that she did go 29 in the past game. Um, Frederick, I believe, Ruckman can... Um, 64 here, let's just see interchange and also a midfield role high CBAs so there is reason to believe that can um but I believe can is pretty high, pricey yeah 999k then you have Allen at 55 let's just see Allen and Allen will be the last one that I really check in on and to see what her role is um she's just playing half back flank um it looks like and not really getting too um, too many points per minute, etc. That's down a little bit, so not really looking at her options wise. And then the rest of the girls here, as you can see, don't really matter. Uh, now if I actually flick this across to help you see the, uh, the Frio side of the things. Um, there we go. Um, you'll see Bowers here, 137, 17, uh, kicks, 6 handballs, 2 marks, 17 tackles. Absolutely ridiculous. Miller, 108 as well, um, I believe. If we go over here and we switch it to Frio, this should help out um, the course here. Uh, Miller, another midfielder. Then you see Strom as a Ruckman and Kaufman as a forward. But let's just look at Kaufman's role. I really should have done this last week as it probably would have helped a lot. Um, Kaufman actually has a really good role. What's her price though? 886. Oh, that's annoying. Um, O'Driscoll, a defender, I believe, is playing in defense. If I look over here, O'Driscoll, 80 points, is a fair good. Um, it's in a half-back, half-back flank, so I don't like um, that role. I'm really trying to find those midfielders. Then you have Stanek here, 76. I believe she's playing a wing role. Nope, she's, she's played forward pocket both games. Uh, no CBAs and gotten uh, 97 and 76. So that's really weird that she's done that. 
but she's got high mark and uh, a decent tackle. So decent tackle percentage, I guess. So yeah, just a really, really um, odd game um, for Stannett or her positioning, I guess you could say. But she definitely is up and um, could be could be in there to think about um, trading her in, I guess. And then that's pretty much it for that. So I'm probably... Um, a very short video, this one it's going to be, but um, if I move move it back to that way, um, there wasn't much to go off this this game, really. Um, Bowers 137 is absolutely huge. Will she do this every week? I don't think so. Um, as I think she'll obviously lay a huge amount of tackles, as Kaufman did uh, lay a huge... Did Kaufman did lay 14 tackles, just looking at this. And what did she lay last week? She laid 12... Um, and she usually lays high tackles. So, um, and she did get eight and three. So why is she up so much on her usual points? Like this 40 point game, she had only eight. Oh, she was up four, four kicks, um, and nine tackles on that. So that's why she was up so much. That's, um, 48 points in itself. And that's where you get the 85 to 40 split. Um, so yeah, just trying to look and figure out why a lot of these girls are um, scoring differently. And it seems like you really need the tacklers as well as the midfield role. So yeah, I missed that with um, trading out Smith late. That was a bad miss by me as well, as that would have really helped her. Cash gem would have really helped. But uh, yeah, just a, this one was an odd game. And um, ended up being really actually high scoring, but... Um, can't really see anyone that I'd really like to necessarily pick up. Um, I mean, Sentence and Eddie, just looking here, 75. Um, just trying to figure out who to... Um, this week seems really hard to figure out trades at the moment as there's so much. There's sort of a gap between there's like 1.1 million midfielders and those 1.4 million midfielders. And obviously Bowers is up there at 1.65. Um, and then trying to figure out, do I move forward on? It's more about, I don't really have a clear and obvious uh, one to, I guess, move on. Um, I would like to move on one of the um, midfielders and I would like to move upgrade my ruck. But then again, it's like, you don't I don't have enough cash in the bank to uh, do two positions there without really ultimately downgrading a position. So I might have to move, um, if I get... If I move on Nan Screen, I can only or get um, Schultz. If I move um, Anthony on, I can get up to Moffat, and that would um, that would really help getting Moffat and stuff. But um, yeah, so that pretty much is the video. A little bit uh, less time wise than the other ones, but I guess I didn't watch this game as much as obviously the Swans game and. This game I didn't put on over the other game because the other game was the, the game that was closer in my tipping as well as I more just wanted to watch a closer game than a blowout in the um, this Collingwood-Fremantle game in which, um, was it Frio got the, was it, no, Collingwood got the easy victory um, over Fremantle by 21 points. So that is the video and I'll see you guys back tomorrow for my last three um, videos with uh, recaps and then you've got um, Wednesday will be my um, trade I guess targets my round review as well Thursday will probably be both the um, both videos or something will be the um, tipping and then Friday will be my um, round preview etc and there'll probably be another video in there somewhere but that i'm missing but anyway that is the the video today and i'll see you guys uh tomorrow thanks guys goodbye